Today we're going to talk about proper assembly, playing position, and also care of our saxophone. First thing we're going to do is make sure that our instrument is on a flat surface. We're going to open up the case with the latches so that the bottom section latch lifts off. Many times you'll find a nameplate on the top of the case. We lift up the case. We'll notice that there are really three main parts. There's the mouthpiece, ligature in the cap. We'll find the neck. And then we'll also find the main body of the saxophone. But also in the saxophone case, you'll find some very important items that we need to play. And the first item is the neck strap. And so what we're going to do is take the neck strap out first and put the neck strap right over your head like this. Now, we're going to go to the mouthpiece and we're going to take off the mouthpiece cap. Then we're going to loosen the screws on our ligature, this little metal ring that holds the reed in place, and set that aside. And then we'll also set our mouthpiece aside. Then we're going to go and take out the next item in our case, the next largest item, and this is called the neck. You'll notice at the neck here, there's a section of cork. And for some of you that have a brand new instrument, this cork, when you go to try to put the mouthpiece on, might be a little bit difficult to put that on. So what you would do is take some cork grease that should have come in your case and put some cork grease on that neck in order to make it a little easier. I mentioned before that this is the neck on the top. If we're looking for the top and the bottom, you'll see a little key right up here. And this is the top of the neck. What we're going to do now is take our mouthpiece and you'll notice that uh, the mouthpiece itself has a section that's a flat portion. This flat portion we call the table. And this is where the, the uh, actual reed is going to rest. We're going to set and twist the neck and the mouthpiece together so that the flat part is facing down away from the top part of the neck. Just like this. So here we have the top part of the neck and here we have the flat part of our mouthpiece. Then what we're going to do is take our ligature, our holder, and we're going to make sure that the screws of the ligature are in the front or facing the front of our mouthpiece. Now there's two different ways that this could go. We could put it on like this, but you would find then that it would not fit all the way over. So what we want to do is we want to turn this over so again the screws are toward the front and it fits down onto the mouthpiece. We're going to loosen the screw slightly and now we go into our case and we find our reed. Our reed we very gently slide out of our reed holder and what you'll notice right away if you turn it over is you'll notice on the back of the reed you'll notice a name and also a number and it's very important that you get the proper number or strength of reed. We should be using a number two strength so if you go to your local music store or your band director would have the proper number, number two strength. If you hold the reed up to a light, you'll notice that it's very, very thin or very light colored at the top. And you'll also notice that the top is very smooth. We want to make sure that the reed, in order to work properly, has no chips or cracks in it. And if a reed does have chips and cracks, it will directly impact the sound, the quality of the sound. And so we want to always have a good reed without any chips and cracks in it. Now, we're going to take the reed, put the reed in our mouth, with the tip of the reed in our mouth, and then we're going to take the neck and the mouthpiece, and we're going to slide the ligature forward so there's a space between the table and the ligature. Then I'm going to take the reed with the flat part with a number on it, facing down, and I'm just going to slide that underneath the ligature onto the table. So flat part of the table and the flat part of the reed. Then I'll slide the ligature down. Now there's two things that I have to make sure that I'm looking at very carefully to make sure that the reed is positioned properly. The first thing is I want to make sure that the bottom of the reed is centered exactly on the table. The other section dealing with just the reed is I want to slide that reed up so I see just a little bit of reed right at the top. And then once I see that I have the right amount of reed, then I slide that ligature on, and then I tighten the ligature screws. 
Now, as you're tightening the ligature screws, also look on the back of the mouthpiece and make sure that the ligature is below the base of the little slope in the saxophone mouthpiece. Now, the next section, and I'll just set my reed mouthpiece and neck down. The next section is the body of the instrument. And on the body of the instrument, you will notice at the top, there's a cap. We want to remove that cap. This is something that they have on the saxophones to protect this little key so it doesn't get bent. So always remove it when you're ready to play. Always make sure that you put it back in when you put it back in the case. On the back of the instrument, you'll notice a little hook here. This is where your thumb would actually fit under. And you'll notice a ring right here. This is where the hook that we put on way in the beginning when I first began talking with you today, this hooks into our neck strap. So this is what holds our instrument up. Now, if we take a line from our thumb, the holder or the hook for our neck strap, and then there's a little round disc in the back, that is where we want to line the reed up. So we want to make sure that all of those three are in line. Now at the top of the body, you'll see a little screw. We want to loosen that screw, and then we very gently just twist this back and forth as it fits, the neck fits into the body. And again, we're lining up the reed with that little round disc with our neck holder connector there and also the thumb. Once that's in alignment, then we tighten down the neck strap. Now, when we go to talk about playing position for the saxophone, we want to make sure that the saxophone is set on our right side, the right side of our right leg here, and then we have to adjust the neck strap. And on the neck strap, there's a little system here that we can either pull the neck strap up or pull the neck strap down. And so what we want to do is we want to take our right hand and we want to set our right hand right underneath that thumb rest and then we want to set that right next to our right leg. Then what we want to do is move the saxophone right towards us. And in order to get the right height of the instrument, we want to make sure that it naturally would match up right with my mouth. Now you'll notice that this is a little bit too low. And so what I need to do is raise it up just a little bit. I never want to bend my body down to get to the instrument. I always want to sit nice and tall so I'm breathing properly. Now we'll try it once again. Still a little bit too low, so I'll bring it up just a little bit more. And now we know that that's exactly the right height there. Now, for our placement of our fingers on the instrument itself, we spoke just a little bit about our thumb, our right thumb. This fits underneath the back thumb rest, and then you'll notice that there are three keys right down at the bottom, right on the other side of that thumb rest. That's for our first, second, and third finger. So that's the playing position for those for our right hand. Then on this side, you'll notice that round disc that we talked about. Our thumb fits on that round disc and then reaches around these keys right here. We want to use good care. And I know your instructors have measured your hands to make sure that they fit the saxophone properly so that we can not bump any of those keys. Then we're going to reach around and you'll notice that we have different choices here. Our first finger is going to be on this key right here. Our second finger is going to be on this one right here. So there's a key in between right here we're not going to touch. And then our third finger is right next door, right to this one here. So our first finger, again, is here. Skip a key. We're here and here. So our playing posture then for our hands, thumb is on the back, first finger, second finger, third finger thumb under here, and then one, two, three. In order to make a sound on the saxophone, again, we want to make sure that the reed is moist. I like to use the word two, two, where my corners, again, are nice and firm, and my jaw is down. What we're going to do is have the mouthpiece, slide the mouthpiece into our mouth. We're going to take our top teeth, and we're actually going to rest them on top of the mouthpiece. We want to make sure that we don't use our bottom teeth and touch the reed at all. We want to use the bottom lip as just a cushion to rest that reed on. So making the shape two, top teeth on the mouthpiece, breathe in. Once again. Now in the very beginning,
beginning, sometimes if we're not careful, what we'll end up doing is puffing our cheeks. If we do that, it becomes very difficult to control the sound. So make sure that you don't puff your cheeks. Work for a very beautiful sound. Once again, corners in, top teeth on the mouthpiece. Now, we finished our practice session, and now it's time to take our instrument apart in the proper way. First thing that we're going to do is loosen the screws on our ligature, slide the ligature up, and then take our reed off. Then, if you remember our holder that we talked about before, again, don't touch the reed from the top, always grab it from the bottom. Flat part of the reed, sliding it in, just like that. The next section that we do is we take off the ligature, and twist the mouthpiece off of the cork that's on the neck. Now, we want to make sure that we can loosen the screw on the body that allows the neck to twist up and out. Make sure that when you're, notice what I'm doing with my hands here. I'm grabbing at the top here. I'm staying away from this long bottom section from that octave key. So just very gently twist it up and then put that in the section of our case. Now we take out our cleaner, this is called a swab, and we're going to take a look at it. It's got a little brush here that expands it a little bit and allows us to get the moisture out. We're going to take the weighted end of that. We're going to drop that into the bell. Open this, and then drop that through, and then pull on the cord that comes out. And that takes care of any extra moisture that's in the mouthpiece or in the, the body of the instrument. Unhook your neck strap. The top cap goes onto the top of the saxophone. And then we set the saxophone into the case. Next we can take our swab and wrap our cord around the swab. Now we'll take our ligature, put it back on again with the screws in the front, put our cap on, set that in our mouthpiece, and we'll take our neck strap off, put that in the case, put our reed in the case. Again, always make sure that you take your instrument apart each time when you're done playing, put it properly in the case, and now you're ready for your next practice session.